What is up YouTube? It is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. And you already know what day it is today. It is Annie Monday. And today in this video, I'm going to be drawing a old character that I haven't drawn in a very long time, like 2010 time. This character was based off of a video game I played a long, 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 long time ago. It was an online MMORPG snowboarding game. Completely forgot what it was called, but it's a woman, upper half, and you know, just adding flair, snowboarding, movement, and stuff like that. It's really cool, but let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin this off like any other of my any videos that I made in the past. Whenever you're drawing a character, the very first thing you always want to do is just make a serious rough sketch. Lines everywhere. It does not matter. You're trying to get a feel for your character and how the character is going to look. So all of those uh, like food items that looks like body parts and stuff like your lemons, your chicken legs, your potatoes, you know, your things like that, the bananas and stuff like that. You're going to make them into like tubes and squares and stuff like that just to get your character shape going. And with this character, she's kind of at an angle. Uh, I'm not sure what angle this is maybe like three fourths angle with her arms kind of flaring out like she's holding herself balanced if you've ever seen a snowboarder before you know exactly what i'm talking about as a snowboarder of myself it's kind of easy for me to get some relativity to this character and just having fun with making it and stuff and again make sure you use all of your guidelines guidelines help form your character it is the most easiest way how to um, finalize your character just by roughing it out and you cannot do it any better and do not be afraid to change and skewer some lines and stuff as you're creating and also do not be afraid to delete some of the the mess in the jamble when you start making a lot of lines and things things will tend to get very messy and so a little cleanup here and there never hurts and as you can see here I am now almost done with the with the sketching phase and about to get onto the detail phase and you can see how things came out very easily how I was using my shapes how I was using circles squares and triangles just to get the body down and now that I got the initial shape of the body down I can start adding minor details here and there before I start getting into the detail phase which is one of my favorite phases when it starts adding the the higher detail into the clothing and things like that before I start adding the the line art now when it comes to the the detail phase when you're starting to add in a more finalized image uh, me I always use different two different colors I always use the blue for the rough and the red to draw over it because the red shows over the blue and a more brighter color and it's more easily visible for me to see and able to function with that is my method to my madness and it works for me it could work for you um, but red and blue is usually a good rule of thumb for color to use when making your characters in graphic design terms when it comes to graphical drawing and stuff like that and uh, as you can see here I'm now just starting to add detail to the character adding things that I think will look cool uh, clothes wrinkles clothes clothing details uh, she's wearing a jacket uh, zippers and uh, pockets and uh, certain jacket aspects and stuff her jacket's kind of like a letterman style snowboard jacket um, multicolored and things like that and just having a lot of fun with my image as I'm going with it um, you do not want to overthink about what you're doing in your drawing because it can get overly complicated unless that's what you're aiming for and it can take you a lot of time to do but for this image for YouTube's sake I'm just gonna make a basic image and not add too much detail because that would defeat the purpose of the video just trying to have some fun here but as I'm coming to an end to the detail phase, I'm about to start doing the line art phase. And this is uh, a message to some of my commenters. I have received like literally eight comments within the past week asking about my brush presets. And all I got to say is, come on, guys. Come on, guys. I got like three or four videos on how I make these brush presets. I mean, I have a lot of videos how to make the perfect line art brush. Figure it out. You can watch the video uh, step by step. Uh, these are made with an older version of Adobe Illustrator as a heads up. This is uh, version two, um, 2018. So some things may be different in your 2020 version. I am not sure. That's not the version I use, but I should upgrade. I'm slacking, but yeah, keep in mind. But but I am about to finalize the image with the line art phase and the coloring phase. If you guys would want a dedicated video on how to do line art, please let me know. It's the most easiest thing in the world. It's pretty much just tracing over your, your rough sketch and stuff like that. Super simple, super easy with the right brushes and stuff. And if you guys also want to have a dedicated video on how to properly color your images, then please let me know down in the comments because that is no problem. I can use this image or any of the images I drew in the past as a reference. Uh, 
uh but uh yeah let me know what you guys think uh we're now towards the end of the video where i let the video finalize itself and uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoy your boy diamonds here at common sense graphics rate comment subscribe all that bullshit your boy out